Okay. Woo okay. Yeah. <laughs> Grab one of those oars and push us off of there. It's filled with splinters. Oh, Great. so many splinters. So we gotta go way the heck over there. We'll be so fine. <laughs> All right, well, full speed ahead. Almost broke the engine, so <laughs> we'll keep it slow. <laughs> what is this little place? This is awesome. <laughs> Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. From Stockholm. Um, I'm just gonna let you guys know right off the bat, we're not off to a great start <laughs> today. We found out the hard way that you can't purchase tickets on the buses here. We thought it would be like Malmo where we could use the app. We couldn't find the stop we needed to go to, so we assumed it would still be like Malmo where you could use your card on the train. Yeah, so or you couldn't use your card, couldn't use an app, couldn't pay on the bus. So I don't know how you take the bus here. But anyways, <laughs> we're hopping an Uber because we're heading over to a spot nearby to rent a car. And uh, like we mentioned in our previous video, we're gonna be exploring the archipelago area just a little bit. We're going to head to a very cool place to stay, a houseboat, which they have houseboats all throughout the archipelago. And once we saw that, we were like, we've got to stay on one of those because we've was, never done it before. Yeah, and it was one of the most adorable little houseboats we've ever seen. It's so basically a tiny house on water. Yep. We are waiting for our Uber now. That was our plan B. And then we're gonna head and pick up our car and then we're gonna be off. Let the adventure begin. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be our trusty vehicle. We got kind of an SUV this time. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. All right. Man, I instantly feel more free once we rent a car <laughs> somewhere because you don't have to rely on transit. You can just go anywhere, the whole country. And I think driving here in Sweden is gonna be pretty nice. Yeah, I hear the roadways are pretty good, actually. Yeah. Because we got these rolly bags, I feel like our bags are considerably heavier because I'm just carrying more stuff just because I can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're all loaded up. We're gonna get on the road. Driving in Sweden. Driving in Sweden. Yeah. How do you feel? Oh, you <laughs> I thought you were just singing to yourself. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I guess that's true. How do you uh, feel about driving in Sweden? I guess I feel good. Not about that song though. So far so good though. Look, I've made it around one roundabout. We actually had to make one quick, very important stop to a, a shop called uh, System Bulligit. I have absolutely no idea actually how to pronounce it, but it's the alcohol store here in Sweden. I guess it's like a monopoly store that's run by the government. So you can't buy anything over, I think, three and a half percent in the regular store. You have to go to this special store. Which is actually super duper annoying because <laughs> it's closed, what, Saturdays and Sundays, I think? Mm -hmm. And only open to like 7 to like 7 PM. or 8. So you and, uh, really have to be intentional if you want alcohol. Yeah, so you got to go there, buy everything you need for the weekend, and then you're good to go. Yep. But anyways, we have everything we need. Oh, Not for geez. the weekend, but just for one night. I actually <laughs> just got a sampler of a bunch of different beers that sounded really cool. So. Oh. All right, Archipelago. Here we go. Here we Here we come. Archipelago. <laughs> Well, we've got all of our provisions and we think we're in the right spot. We're just in some parking lot. It looks very industrial, but the boat should be over here somewhere. And I don't know if we mentioned we have to park here. We're going to take a ferry oh, yeah. out to the island and then maybe we have to take another boat. I don't know. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. We're not exactly sure. It'll be an adventure. So this is the boat. And according to this sign here, here, it should be leaving at when? 2.30. 2.30, right there. We'll see if that's right. I don't know. No one else is here so far. made it on, oh crap, I got some water on my lens. <laughs> We've made it onto the ferry. We are underway. It turns out that it actually leaves at 3.30. We were so, looking at the weekend schedule. Yeah. My bad. They sell beer on board the boat. Yeah, All and right. I think this is got, from Gotland, Gotlands, Gotlands, which know. is an island kind of close-ish to Stockholm. So it's a local beer. It's a nice little pilsner. I like how it looks too. Scratching the first ground. Stop. Oh. I think you might be scratching the ground. What I was gonna say was this looks like a little bottle of gin or something. I thought that's what you brought back, but <laughs> no, nope, just a pilsner. An entire bottle of gin each, yeah. Yeah, all right, anyways, we're gonna enjoy this ride and then we'll be there in no time. Mm -hmm. We are just exploring the archipelago. The area is awesome. I mean, obviously there's a ton of islands, but it's lined with so many little houses, 
of different colors and every single person seems to have a tiny house on I guess it was like a boat house but then a lot of them aren't just boat houses they are renovated to look really nice and I don't know if they're all just guest houses or if they're all up for rent on Airbnb now but we haven't seen one yet that's floating in the middle of the water like the one that we're heading to we've arrived on store Holman Island which is just one of the was it 30,000 land masses within the archipelago yeah, it's just here? a speck <laughs> yeah oh it's just a little blip but I think we now have to go on a bit of a wild goose chase so we took the ferry here and now we have to take a small boat to our house not really sure where it is or how to get there. Yeah. We think we saw the house yeah. in the water. The house was over there. Like Past that cove. Like around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna get our yeah. rowing arms going here. Our directions say once we get to this restaurant right here, we walk straight ahead 20 meters. There's a red fence at 20 meters to the left. Open the door and you'll be on our deck. And then we find the buried treasure. And then we find, oh, that would be so cool. <laughs> if we actually Ooh, found buried treasure, buried that treasure. would be cool. <laughs> we were worried maybe we wouldn't be able to find where we're going, but our host made it super easy for us. There's a sign with our name on it. They have so many of these little houses. There's one here. I don't know if this one can be considered a house, but <laughs> there's one. <laughs> so we actually almost rented this one it looks really cool but the other one that we're going to just seemed so much cuter yeah there's our boat you know i thought it was a rowboat but it's got it's got an engine this is almost the same engine from that one in uh copenhagen i was about to say now you know exactly how to use it that's so cool <laughs> all right in we go i guess jesus <laughs> that's a boat all right oh jeez. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're we're naturals at this, you guys. This is gonna be great. Grab one of those oars and push us off of there. See if I can get cool. us somewhere. It's filled with splinters. Oh, great. so many splinters. The motor is spinning. Yeah, we're going. We're Whoa. going. Oh, baby! All right, this is working. So we got to go way the heck over there. We'll be so fine. <laughs> you know, we were wondering. We saw the place on the way in, and if we hadn't seen it, I don't know where how we'd know where to go because it's hidden over in that cove over there. All right. Whoa. Full speed ahead, almost broke the engine, so <laughs> we'll keep it slow. This is as fast as we're going, guys, this is it. There it is, we see the house, our home. It's so majestic over there, all on its own. Yeah. We made it, you guys. We did it! <laughs> you want me to tie with this? Oh, yes. We're really... We know exactly what we're doing, female. guys. All right. Is that how you do it? Keep back and forth? I don't know. <laughs> we're all tied up, I think we're good. We're definitely gonna wake up and this boat's gonna be gone. Oh jeez. <laughs> this is our land. Claimed. Wow. <laughs> what is this little place? Oh, I guess I need the key, huh? Yeah. Look, we got a little yard here. Yeah, front lawn. Oh, got it. <laughs> I'm real good with locks. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Ooh, there are spiders in here. Ooh, <laughs> Lord. But, uh, confirmed, houseboat number one. That's where we were trying we to go. We made it. Yes. We did it. Look at our little home for the night. Well, hello, and welcome to our tiny floating home. Come on in so I can show you around. So this is the main area. <laughs> we have a little living space here, a little table and chairs, a little cooking area. Behind you, the sauna. Apparently, this will get super warm. Luckily, the sun has been warming the house up for us though. Yeah, so, so we're good. <laughs> we're good right now, but maybe later. This would be perfect in winter time. Behind this door. A bathroom! A fall freaking bathroom, you guys. It has a composting toilet, which Eric and I are now very familiar with after our road trip in Canada in our van. It also actually has a shower. He has a tank with water, so I guess the pressure of it, you shower with that. So you couldn't do a long, leisurely shower, but you can still shower out here. And this is the balcony area. So it's pretty much what you see here. You walk up and you're greeted with a bed, which is where we will be resting our little heads tonight. There's also another bed over here, so you could cram more than two people in here if you'd like to. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's the whole place, I guess. All right, let's cook. Bye. Ow.
Well, I'm having tons of fun out here, you guys. <laughs> I was just telling her, like, I'm just having a blast. <laughs> it's funny because the first hour we were here, he was like going in panic mode, like trying to get everything set up, get all the shots and everything. And yeah. all of a sudden, he just cracked open a beer and he's like, now I'm in chill mode. <laughs> yes. Well, we got our grill going over there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to have enough heat to cook everything we want, but whatever, we're chill. Yep. We're on island time. Yeah, on island. <laughs> world's smallest island The world's time. smallest island. We got a couple beers. <laughs> Actually, not cold at cider. all the host gave us a cooler with some uh, cooler packs in there but we didn't have enough time to actually cool anything you no. can't buy cold beer in yeah, sweden I was about apparently to say, so we told you about the what are they the, the alcohol stores yes but one interesting thing about them is they don't sell any chilled drinks so yeah. nothing is ready for you to consume unless right you want a really low alcohol percentage well yes yeah. unless you want the 3.5 but we wanted the good stuff there's a bit of a storm trying to creep in i can see rain off in the distance it's gonna be fine i felt a couple droplets but hopefully we don't get rained out if we do whatever we'll just go inside just i guess and chill inside. eat our raw meat oh god <laughs> no they've got the the pan in there we'll be fine oh yeah there's a there's a burner in there i totally forgot yeah all right we're good well y'all the rain is coming for us so like Legit rain. Yeah, I'm we might be getting scared. a little screwed. Oh no! <laughs> Just came out of nowhere. Maybe it, maybe it won't out. last that long. It's pouring down. Oh Jeez. man! Got it, some swells out there. <laughs> it does seem more sunny though, even though it's raining. I yeah, think it seems like it's not gonna last that long. Yeah, I guess you got enough room for a dance party. Yeah, this is what we got going on. There's actually nothing playing. <laughs> <laughs> There was not, you're right. So the grill actually did really good and cooked everything pretty well, but we weren't able to get like the fiery grill marks on it that we want. So, so we're searing things in the pan last minute just to get them a little brown. I was a little nervous for a second there, I'm not gonna lie. I thought maybe <laughs> we, our grill wasn't hot enough. We both thought that. With After the rain came, we went and checked on it and it didn't seem to be that warm. The yeah. coals seemed to be dead, but Brought him back. Oopsie. We got a little too uh, smoky. We thought we had a good idea, but. Ah. Stop. Shut up. Totally worth it, though. Look how beautiful these peppers are. For a mo. Okay. <laughs> oh, they'll steamed up. For a moment there, you might have been thinking, we don't know what the heck we're doing, <laughs> but we've made a feast, you guys. Surprise! Check this out. We're freaking badasses at cooking. The end. <laughs> what is this lovely dinner we created? Some random sausage that we, some barbacoa something that we picked up at the grocery store last night. It was all in Swedish, so we weren't <laughs> quite sure, but it looks beautiful. It's nice and oily and juicy, if you can see down there. We got some halloumi that I fried, but it's also seasoned. I think this is gonna be amazing. Little potatoes that we, well, everything's a surprise, coated in butter. <laughs> and then some little pimento peppers, I yeah, believe. I've already tasted the peppers there. Oh my God, Bomb. they're so good. We didn't quite get everything seared on the fire, so we did it on the pan, as you saw when we almost burned this place down. We're doing this for like 10 minutes. <laughs> but no, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Let's see how this halloumi goes. I haven't made halloumi in a long time, but you pan fry it. You can't mess that up, right? Oh, you hear a squeak? <laughs> Squeaky halloumi. That is my favorite part about halloumi. Yeah, if you've never had it, it squeaks when you crunch it in your oh, teeth. Oh, yeah. It's the goofiest cheese in the world, but it's so yummy. Almost as good as yesterday. We are retiring to our chambers upstairs, <laughs> but as the night has fallen, the spiders have come out, you guys. It's become... Spider land. Oh yeah. my word. So we're in this like 10 by 10 square foot area and I can see maybe like 30 spiders right now. <laughs> They've taken over. But. There were a lot of mosquitoes earlier and we're just hoping all they're gonna do tonight is just feed on mosquitoes yeah. and keep us safe, right? Well, we're gonna leave the spiders alone. They're gonna leave us alone. We're gonna be good. Yeah, I think they're just in the windows because it's where everything comes to because of the lights. Yeah. Uh, we really haven't seen too many like in living spaces. But anyways, we're gone. We're gonna eat some snacks and watch something on our phones or something. <laughs> yeah, Netflix. See ya. Bye. Ah, okay. What the? Don't you dare fall. Well, good morning. <laughs> so the spiders managed to stay away from us all night, which is great. Ugh. <laughs> Don't do 
too short. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. It's rocking a little bit. It got pretty um windy, I think, in the night. We don't know properly, I don't think, how to tie off the boat. <laughs> so the whole night, it's just smashing against yeah. the Yeah, and it would dock. go for like an hour or so not doing anything and the water would get still and then all of a sudden we'd wake up because it would smack against the dock here and I was way too lazy to get out and fix it. So I think we're going to get all packed up here. We are going to ride our little dinghy boat back to the shore Yay. and then we're going to be off. Don't die. I told you. the ferry and we got on the road and uh, so I don't know if we really mentioned but the goal today we're heading across Sweden to an area called Gothenburg or that's the city right yeah we'll Gothenburg. be staying a little bit outside of the city about an hour yeah. north and I think that we're going to wrap up this video because uh, I'm honestly just exhausted you guys <laughs> I just didn't sleep that well last night I was just sleeping here for an hour and I was like oh yeah we didn't end this video so <laughs> that's well, what we're doing even though we didn't sleep that well I will say the bed and that upstairs area was super cozy. But I do hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us to our little uh, floating tiny house. It was a really unique experience. <laughs> but uh, I think that's gonna do it for this video. We're going to just enjoy the uh, Swedish countryside. Yeah, we have about four more hours of it, so yeah. plenty to see. Goodbye adventures. I was gonna say goodnight, but it's not nighttime. <laughs> it's goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you on the road. <laughs>